we're in Asda Car Park right now, preparing to go into the co-op AGM. We are going inside the AGM uh, and we are planning to make our voices heard. We've continued to politely ask them to stop using franking chickens and um, they've, they, they're not doing so. What it will be in practice is going up to the front of the stage um, with your banners up. Sean's going to be speaking, he'll be kind of leading things, he's going to be addressing the audience. I just keep thinking of the chickens and how appalling this is, so no, I'm not, I'm not nervous. Chickens being raised for the cooperative, uh, they're leading short, miserable lives because they're genetically bred to grow so fat, so quickly, their bodies just can't keep up. We also made an, a commitment to invest a million pounds in the work of our academies, which includes creating greater access to food. Shireen, I, I'm so sorry for interrupting this lovely cooperative AGM. If you don't mind, we're only going to stay here for, for one minute. The cooperative has failed its members. Animals in, in factory farms for the cooperative, chickens are being bred to grow so yeah, fast so quickly, steps, Just they're careful. suffering terribly and the cooperative can do better by signing up to the Better Chicken Commitment. Our brave AGM members have just been in there and held a disruption. Oh, I can see them coming now. We stood up, we expressed the frustration of the membership but we got our message across. I think it was a success. My heart was beating in my mouth before we started. I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I said something. I'm glad I stood up. When we were walking down the aisle, it was really interesting to see more and more people sort of giving us smiles and applause. And when we left, we really did feel that the, the support in the room with people applauding as well as we left. It takes people coming together and raising their voices and, and refusing to sit down and be quiet yeah, to, to bring about that change. And go!